What's up, YouTube? It's the day before St. Patrick's Day, and I got some buddies coming over tonight for Dart League. And I was just gonna do a quick video on uh, how I do my Guinness braised corned beef. Um, it's real simple, this is gonna be a short video. I bought pre-packaged corned beefs at the grocery store. I got a couple of points and a couple of flats. I uh, drain all the brining liquid out rinse the corned beefs off. I half a head of garlic and I got that in there. Um, I use the pickling spice that they give you but I also add a little to it. Now I'm gonna top this off about halfway up with Guinness. I'm gonna cover it in foil and I'm gonna put it in a 300 degree oven. Now, I used to always do my corned beefs in a crock pot, but I have found out this turns way better. Um, it's tender, but it doesn't just shred apart like it does in the crock pot. Uh, you can get better slices off of it if you're making uh, Rubens or however, whatever sandwich you like to eat with your corned beef. Um, so right now, I mean, this is as simple as it gets. I'm going to Cover it tight with foil. I'm gonna put it in the oven, 300 degrees, and it's gonna go for like four to six hours. And uh, I usually do potatoes, baby potatoes and carrots. And I always cook those separately. I never liked all the scum that got stuck on the vegetables from the corned beefs. So I have a whole Dutch oven full of potatoes and carrots that I put a little pickling spice in. I'll put a little beer in, a little water, and I'll just steam them. And that way they uh, they don't get overdone too, because sometimes as long as it takes your corned beef to get done, all your vegetables just turn to pure mush. All right, they're going in the oven and I'll uh, check back with you when they get done and show you the finished product. Happy St. Patty's Day. All right, the corned beefs have been in for five and a half hours and I'm just doing a quick temperature test and uh, tenderness test. And they're close. See how that probe just kind of goes through easy? I think another half hour will be perfect. It's kind of like when you're cooking brisket. That means all of your internal fats rendered and all the uh, grain of the meat is getting tender and, and pliable. So we'll give it another half hour and it'll be time to eat. All right, and here's the finished product. It's got that nice red color like you want in corned beef. That was a one-handed slice, so you know it's tender. And let's just give it the old uh, the taste test. It's freaking hotter than shit. Very good. Well, give this recipe a try tomorrow on St. Patty's Day or any day. And hit that like button. Thanks.